Well, I thought I would just get started and jump right in. Like I said, today we are doing our all pink lookbook. And by that I mean, I'm not talking about prints that might have pink in them. I'm talking all pink, everything is pink, including the shoes are pink. These are the pinkest sneakers I have, so they'll match the other pink gym set I have. I only actually have two pink gym sets, believe it or not. I know, I can't believe it either. Um, but you'll see I have a whole wide array of pink, but you'll also notice that most of my pink is winter pink, which I feel like has to be remedied ASAP, which will be remedied once I get all my stuff in from Shein to Pack, which you will see tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, this is this. We're starting strong with uh, my one of my favorite pink gym sets. I love it. It's super cute. It's comfortable. It's bright. It's obnoxious. It's pink. It's pink. That's what matters here. All right. Um, I have one more gym set that's pink. It's not this pink, but it is definitely pink. Anyway. Um, all right. Next. Can you believe I only have two pink gym sets? Wild. But this is my other one. It's more of like a dusty rose, like just a soft pink, which honestly matches the shoes perfectly. I love, I don't know what it is, but I love when gym sets match the shoes perfectly. Like the whole thing is just monochromatic, you know? I love it. I don't know why, I just do. Um, but yeah, I love this gym set. The only downside, there's no pockets, but it is pink. So here you are with another one of my pink fits, I guess. I might just walk Suki in this today. Anyway, let me show you the rest. Okay, next. All right, you're gonna find that I do not have that many pink bottoms aside from my gym sets. Um, but yeah, and this is a size medium and it's quite large, sadly, um, but I love this skirt. So I'm definitely going to get this fitted because it's stunning and I've only worn it like three times and I love it. It is a Vince Camuto and it needs to be appreciated, but yeah. Um, coincidentally, the first sweater that I put on matches the pink exactly. Um, don't get used to that. That is... That was a fluke. I don't know how that happens. You'll also notice that most of those are sweaters. All of them are sweaters. <laughs> Almost all of them. Um, but yeah, all right. Um, and these are my sparkly shoes. <laughs> I have two pink shoes aside from my sneakers, so three technically. These are one of them. You've seen the others. They're, I'll, I'll, I'll break them out when the time is right. Um, but yeah. Okay, you're going to get used to seeing this skirt, which is like a little bit natural, but, um, all right, next. Yes, another pink sweater. I like this one because it has the gold detail here. Um, unfortunately, it is a large, and I thought this was a really cool detail as well, but honestly, this is kind of becoming a do I keep this or not kind of lookbook. Because I'm not, I'm not feeling this, and I'm, I know I wouldn't reach for this generally. So that's something to think about. Um, <laughs> anyway, I have so many more pink sweaters to go through, so let's get going. Oh my gosh, does this not look almost exactly like what I just had on? The difference is it's more of like a sweatshirt version, um, and the interior of this is not <laughs> soft at all. Um, this is also Calvin Klein. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one either. <laughs> That's wild. Wild. All right, I don't really have much to say about that. All right, next. Okay, another cashmere sweater. This one is actually a turtleneck. This is an Ann Taylor, just like my other cashmere one that I put away. It's a little more of a cooler tone pink, as you can see the difference between this blush one and this one, I do like it, but it is a little see-through. Um, but I still think it's really pretty, so. It fits nice even though it's a medium and I'm like a small, extra small now. We'll see. All right, next. 
All right, this is a sweater that I really love because I love a V-neck, but I love a V-neck, but there is something very special. So Sean got this for me. It was on one of my gift lists. This is what I love about it. I think the back is super sexy, you know, with a pair of jeans, obviously not giant pencil skirt, <laughs> but we're going for all pink. So that's why this is the way that it is. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this sweater. So it's definitely a keeper, but I just wanted to show you why it was so special. I just love that detail in the back, the knot and just, and then the back open just feels very sexy to me. Um, okay. I have mm, just a few more tops to go and then we're going to get into the dresses. Okay, I really genuinely didn't think I was going to like this top that much and thought it was going to go into the goodbye pile, but I love how blousey it is. It feels really romantic. This is a Calvin Klein. Um, I love the gold detail that it has. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I actually like this a lot more. I'm also not very confident in my arms, so the fact that it shows them off generally usually would make me uncomfortable, but I feel like this top is just really pretty and romantic and soft. So I like this. Okay. We're keeping it. All right. Next. All right. After this, I have one more top to go, but this is just a really pretty, oh, this doesn't look good. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. All right. This is just a little, this is just a really pretty, uh, Pima cotton top from Ann Taylor. We love the sleeve detail, and I guess there's some pretty embroidery of just flowers, uh, but yeah. I don't know, does this count? Because it has kind of a print on it. I mean, it's embroidered. Anyway, it's, I don't really have many sleeveless pink. Let's put it that way. All right, next. Okay, so also with the change of pink, we have the change of shoe pink. Um, yeah, I love this pink sweater. I love that it has the cute little heart cutout detail. I think it's really special. I love the bell sleeves that it has. Um, and yeah, I just, I folded this over like a few times because it's just getting ridiculous. Um, but yeah. And then obviously these shoes, which are, oh, magnifique, you know, just truly magnificent shoes. All right. Now we can get into our dresses. <laughs> All right. Honestly, this is such a Vegas dress and yeah, no, I have never worn this out. Um, it doesn't exactly fit me the way it did before anyway. Um, but it is quite a statement. I love the feathers on the bottom. I love that it kind of does this little pull up. Um, it does need to be a little more fitted. The top needs to come in a little bit. The sleeves are a little baggy, but <laughs> upon first seeing it, super fun. And honestly, it's not bad made. It's got this beautiful satin pink lining inside of it for the cost. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. It wasn't terrible. Um, so honestly, I mean, it's fun and I actually matches the shoes perfectly. Um, of all my pink dresses, this is the one I've never worn out, but also have always wanted a reason to. There is a drag show coming up. I might have to break it out for that because this is just too fun not to, you know, <laughs> Anyway, um, I just love this dress. It's super fun and I need a reason to wear it out. And that's, that is, that is the only reason why I have it. Cause it is just a fun, ridiculous dress. Also, I feel like it looks kind of good from a distance. You'd never know. The feathers are really fun, right? Mm. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Next. <laughs> All right, I also have not worn this one out, um, not because it doesn't look good. It, I feel like it looks okay. It is a bodycon though, and the problem is it's a medium. Actually, no, this is a large and I'm a small. Um, as you can see, it's like pretty baggy for bodycon. It is not supposed to have any of those wrinkles whatsoever. It's supposed to be completely 
svelte and fitted, but it is sadly not. But I feel like I could still walk out with this and get away with it. It's just, you know, it's a little loose in spots that is, you know, I feel like should be tighter. But anyway, it's cute. It's definitely pink. I've worn this for my Barbie, uh, uh, what's it called? Barbie, when I was coming up with costumes from what's in my closet. This is definitely my Barbie go-to costume. I thought it was pretty perfect. Uh, but yeah, the shoes are pretty close too, which is actually really fun. Yeah, I, 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 the more I'm wearing it, the more I kind of like it. All right, yeah, it's still big though, unfortunately. Next. Okay, so here we have my Chi Chi London, which I'm sure many of you were expecting because it's the pink dress that you just recently saw. Super cute, love the uh, support, but this thing here is pretty weird. I wish it was just cinched in like that. I feel like that would look so much better. I don't know why it keeps poking out the way that it does, but, and I took it to get tailored as well, so I'm not really sure why it's still doing that. But anyway, it's a pretty pink dress. I love it. Um, I have one more summery dress, and then the rest are sweater dresses, which I'm sure you've seen before. I know you've seen them before because I love them and I've worn them. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, next. All right, this is my last summery uh, pink dress. This is more of like a coral, which is like an orange pink. Um, but I feel like this still counts as something as part of being in the pink family. You'll definitely see this in tomorrow's episode because it is literally just too perfect. Also, the cutout back, so gorgeous, so sexy. Um, this is an express dress from probably 20 years ago. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love it. It's really soft. It's just this beautiful... Um, Oh my gosh, I forgot the word, chiffon. I know, right? And uh, it's just a gorgeous dress and the straps are just so elegant and soft and pretty and yeah. All right, next. Okay. Yeah, I know you, I know you guys remember these. The, the, this is the first sweater dress. Yes, we love. Um, it looks amazing on. I have no issues with it, but I can't exactly wear this to where I'm going to go, which is why I'm wearing all pink. Pink is the first clue on where I'm going to go. Pink is a big deal on where I'm going to go. I'm very excited, but um, this just doesn't work for where I'm going to go. But I do love this sweater dress and it is pink. And I paired it with my bow, which I will pair with all my other sweater dresses that I have two, two more, one more. I have one more sweater dress for you. It's the last fit. Um, and then, and then you will have seen all of my pink so far until tomorrow. I'm very excited. Anyway, um, I love this sweater dress, but wait till you see the next one. Uh, but yeah, okay, next. Last one. I know, another sweater dress. I have a thing for sweater dresses, especially pink. Um, for whatever reason, I just wear a lot of pink when it's warm out. I mean, when it's cold out and not when it's warm out. I really don't have enough pink for the warmer weather, aside from my gym sets, which honestly, a travesty. But here's my pink bow. We love. Okay. And that's that. That is all the pink I have in my closet, including the shoes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a lot of fun today. I had a blast. In fact, I really enjoyed and was a very glad that I was able to figure out some things that I'm also trying to get rid of, which gives me more space in my drawers and closet. Win-win. Anyway, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to share with you where I'm going next week and why pink is so important and what I'm going to be bringing with me. So stay tuned for the Shein haul and the packing haul. And yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, until next time. <laughs>